Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. Question to you guys right off the bat, sound off in the comment section down below. For your AK-47, what magazines do you run? Do you run the surplus com block stuff or the new production Croatian uh, bolt hold open magazines or even the KCI South Korean AK mags? Let me know, sound off in the comment section down below because that's what we're talking about this time. Hey guys, as always, thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. Uh, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, we've got a number of different links down in the comment section down below uh, to include my website, Patreon, PayPal, all that jazz. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel, that'd be cool. Okay, so this time uh, we're gonna be talking about the KCI magazines from South Korea. These are brand new production magazines and uh, they're relatively inexpensive. You can pick these up on a decent sale for about $7.99. That's what I got them from Primary Arms. I went ahead and bought seven of them and I wanted to see how well they would work. So I've ran about 400-ish rounds through one magazine. Um, I, I don't have enough rounds to do that with all seven that I bought. So I just picked one at random and I've been running it all day today and uh, in a few other rain sessions as well. But the question is, are these just as durable and a uh, workhorse like the Comblock magazines? Uh, I know that a lot of people have done torture tests with the old surplus Comblock stuff and I wanted to see if these would hold up too. Now, I've seen a torture test by another YouTuber. His name is uh, RT Guns and Gear, I think and he was checking out the KCI, so I thought I'd give it a try myself and see if they would uh, still hold up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got 10 rounds loaded up into this magazine. I've got some nasty slate, silt, clay, whatever behind me. I'm going to dump a whole bunch of that into this magazine, and we're gonna run it to see if it works. So let's check out what's going to happen here. Here we go, all right. This stuff is uh, pretty freaking nasty. It's hard to get anything in there because it's so, so big. Make sure you guys can see this. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Was not anticipating getting dirty today at the range, but All right, hope you can hear that. Got a lot of stuff in there. Let's see. It's a humid one out here today, man. I'm sweating my butt off. Whew. Okay. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff in there. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, see if this will run. I've got a wall. Oh, I gotta take it off safe. Huh. Freaking noob. So I've got a rock wall right here. We're just gonna fire all 10 rounds. And it ran. You can still hear all the dirt in there, so we can take this apart and uh, see how well it ended up doing. I think we can get this done. There we go. So, there's a spring. It looks like all the dirt got poured out. So, you can see it's pretty dirty in there. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's pretty freaking dirty in there. We'll definitely clean it out. 
Needless to say, these are running really well. Again, they're coming in right about eight bucks. So that's not too bad for a new production, non-con block magazine. And uh, I would say that if anything, these would be great range magazines. I don't know if you guys would want to keep these for your boogaloo setup or anything like that, but uh, definitely a good set of magazines for the range if you're just going out and blanking and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think. Would you use KCI Magazine? Sound off in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear uh, what you guys are running, whether it be KCI, the Croatian bolt hole open magazines or old com blocks. Which com blocks are you running? And then of course, which AK are you guys running as well? All right guys, thanks a lot. We'll catch you later. Freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Take it easy, y'all. Bye.